how to install Raging Lightning's TSW2 Livery Manager. The first thing you are going to want to do is download the program. As of writing of this video, it is currently available on GitHub at the link in the description. Once you have the zip file downloaded, you will need to extract the contents of it into a new folder. When the contents of the zip file are in your new folder, it's time to boot up the software. Do this by double clicking tsw2lm.exe. If prompted not to run the software, click more info and then run anyway. Initial setup of the software. On your first time opening the software, you will need to click the set game directory button. From here, input the location of the Train Sim World 2 folder. For me, it can be found at this directory on the screen now. Once that is selected, you will need to click Set Library Directory. For this one, I created a folder inside where I installed the livery manager into, named Reskins. After you create that folder, copy the path of it into the livery manager program. One thing to note at this point is, what you are seeing on the screen now is what things would look like if you had no reskins installed at all. Let's quickly create an example skin to show what it will look like once you have a skin created already. Now when we relaunch the livery manager, you'll see that our skin we created shows up on the right. From here there are a few options. If you'd like to back up multiple liveries at once, you may click the backup button. To get multiple skins back, once you have backed them up, you would click restore. Below those buttons are the import and export buttons. Let's click on our repaint we just created and click export. Now a file with the tsw2 live file extension appears in the folder we just created as your library for reskins. Importing is done in a similar fashion, but first let's download a reskin of the Train Sim Community Corner website. First click the mods button on the far left of the icons list. After that click tsw mods in the center of the screen. After this click the reskins button. Once you are here you have many options on what skin you would like to download. For this video, let's head to the German section. From here, let's try Alexander L's Abelio livery. From here, download the file from the Google Drive pop-up page. Once the file is downloaded from the site, drag it into your reskin library folder you created earlier. Once the file is in your reskin folder, relaunch the livery manager, and as you will see, your new skin shows up on the left. From here, click your downloaded skin in the box on the left, then select an empty reskin slot from the list on the right. Once you've selected both, click Import, then click Save. Now let's load up Train Sim World 2 and see the downloaded skin in-game. For locomotives, you'll be able to see them by selecting the route that the locomotive runs on. Explore, Timetable, then picking your locomotive at the bottom of the screen. And as you can see, our reskin we downloaded appears in the game.